dye number three is officially banned in the US, here's what you need to know. So red dye number three is a synthetic food coloring used in everything from candy to baked goods, and it has been banned in the US after years of advocacy from health experts and consumer groups. But why is it such a big deal? Let's break it down. So number one, it's linked to hyperactivity. Research that shows that artificial dyes like red dye number three can increase hyperactive behavior in children. So here's how. It can trigger brain inflammation, which disrupts mood and focus, and it can also disrupt your neurotransmitters like dopamine and serotonin. And some children have heightened sensitivities to dyes, which leads to restlessness, impulsivity, and difficulty concentrating. Now, this red dye also has carcinogenic concerns. It's linked to an increased risk of thyroid tumors, which raises alarms about its long-term safety. One of the main issues is that despite being used in many snacks and medications, red dye number three wasn't always clearly labeled, so it made it really hard to avoid. And it's surprising that the ban took so long because the FDA banned red dye number three in cosmetics back in the 1990s. However, it remained legal in food and drugs until now. So what's next? This is a huge win for public health and a push towards cleaner, safer ingredients in our food supply. Instead of red dye, try exploring natural alternatives like beet juice or paprika for color. Thanks for watching and follow us for more.